Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? Last week I went to the Menu Chocolate Factory to see a fringe show called Condite. And this is the program for it, in case you haven't seen um, what the poster or, you know, design for it looks like, basically. It was good. I enjoyed it. And here are my thoughts about it. First of all, Condide, um, although it's, it's a musical, it's also an opera kind of musical. It's an operata, is how they call it. So most of the music in it is very um, operatic. It sounds very operatic. It's in that kind of genre of music. Which meant that, you know, as a whole, this musical, this show for me, was very different because I don't usually go to operatic shows or operas. Anyway, to explain you the plot of Condide, would be one of the hardest things ever because it's quite a confusing story. Um, I mean, I didn't even get the whole story and I was there. But I'll tell you all the basics. The show is set in a place called Westphalia, or I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. Then I've got a guy called Candide, who is one of the lead characters in the show, and he's in love with a lady called Kunagonde. There's also a third character called Paquette, and she's um, a prostitute, I guess. But anyway, we'll get to her later. The whole kind of first act pretty much revolves around Condide and Kunagonde and their love for each other and there's quite a few songs that they sing to each other about how they love each other and how they're happy and blah blah blah. However, after a while, Condide is exiled because apparently he's inferior to Kunagonde and everybody's angry at him for the fact that he loves her. So anyway, Condide is exiled and obviously they're separated, Condide and Kunagonde, and after a while Condide um, becomes a beggar and as somebody with pretty much no money, um, gradually meets some new people and goes on a little adventure I suppose and learns new things about life and stuff. Then there's a bit in Act 2 where um, Condide finds Paquette, who apparently is meant to be dead, I think, or something, but she's disguised as a slave or something like that. But then eventually Condide and Kunagonde are reunited in Act 2 and Condide just tells everybody that he really wants to marry her and yeah, there's a lot of death going on, like quite a few people die <laughs> in Act 2 uh, because of all the problems, like there are apparently some problems with uh, in the country and the castles and the different societies and upper class and lower class and stuff like that. But yeah, eventually Condide and Kunagonde do end up marrying, I think, and yeah, um, that's pretty much how the story ends. It's a very complicated story, or at least that's how I thought of it, but maybe that's my own fault, maybe I should have done a bit of reading before I went to see the show, because, I don't know, I just found it quite complicated and a bit confusing at times. Anyway, the story aside, let's go to the performances and the actors. The performances in the show were absolutely fantastic. I mean, I saw some of the best performances I've ever seen in any show, in Condide. The main one being the performance of Scarlett Strallen. Now Scarlett Strallen is a performer that I'd seen in quite a few shows before. I saw her in Singing in the Rain, the chorus line, and I've always loved her in everything she's done. She's a great actress, I've always loved seeing her um, in shows and stuff, but in Condide she was just something else. I didn't even expect her to be like as good as she was because it's like she just went like a whole step up to what I've, I'd always seen of her and I was just so amazed. Scarlett Strallen plays Kunagonde, who's obviously the main female character in the show. Now for me, I genuinely think that her performance in this was just something extraordinary. Her singing, her acting, her dancing, everything was fantastic. If anybody were to ask me what's the definition of a triple threat, I'd tell them to go and see Scarlett in Candide because she really just shows what it is exactly to be a triple threat, a true triple threat in theatre. I mean, I already knew that she could sing really well, but obviously this is an operatic musical, like I said, and wow, some of the notes that she hit in this musical was just incredible. She has a beautiful voice, a beautiful voice, and I mean, I didn't really know that she would. She was such a great soprano. She could easily be Christine in Phantom of the Opera because, I mean, I don't know, she just hit those notes so easily, and she couldn't just be like a Christine. She could be a very good Christine, and I really want that to happen, actually, one day. Yeah, her voice was stunning. It really, really was. Um, there's a song um, towards the end of Act 1 that she sings on her own. It's called um, Glitter and Be Gay. That was phenomenal, it really was. I think the whole audience would agree with me. She was singing this difficult song that sounded beautiful, as well as acting and just, you know, completely showing um, Kunagonda's um, feelings, basically, to the audience. I don't really know how she did it, but it was just phenomenal. So yeah, um, safe to say I really enjoyed Scarlett's performance in this. But there were also some other great performances, namely um, the guy who played Condide himself. He was played by Fra Fee. Now he's an actor that I've heard a lot of great things about, but I'd never seen him live before, so I was very excited to see him in this. And he met my expectations, and even more. 
He was also, like Scarlett, completely brilliant. He had a beautiful voice, uh, a very nice um, kind of tenor voice. It was so nice to listen to and his acting was great as well. I mean, him and Scarlett, the scenes that they were together was just, was very believable. Like, it's quite difficult sometimes to find uh, the right chemistry between guy, you know, actors, but they had a, a great chemistry and both of their characters were very believable. And yeah, um, I really loved Rafi and I'd love to see him in other shows in the future. Overall, the whole cast was really, really good. Everybody gave really good performances. Everybody had incredible voices, um, everybody acted it well, um, it looked like they were all really enjoying being in the show and were really into it, and that kind of made the audience, I mean, even though I didn't understand parts of the show and I found bits of it confusing, because the actors seemed so passionate about it and just looked so passionate about it, it made me love it and enjoy it, even though, like I said, there were bits that I was like, what? What's going on? So yeah, props to the actors, because they were all fantastic. The night that I went, uh, Paquette wasn't played by Cassidy Jansen, unfortunately. I say unfortunately only because I've seen Cassidy Jansen in some shows before and I kind of wanted to see her in this, but her understudy was great as well, so, you know, I'm not complaining. Her understudy was really, really good. Unfortunately, I can't remember her name. I think it was Frankie something. But yeah, she was really great. Jackie Kloon was in this. Um, she played uh, the old lady. She was really funny. She had some funny scenes and her voice is great. And again, I have to mention this. Uh, I know nobody really cares, but Jackie Kloon was actually my first ever Mrs. Wilkins in, in Billy Elliot. There you go. I just have to relate everything to Billy Elliot. Sorry. It's one of my favourite shows, so yeah. But yeah, I think that's pretty much all I'm going to say. Um, this was at the Cho Mini Chocolate Factory, like I said, and the Mini Chocolate Factory Theatre is a fringe theatre. It's quite small. Um, which means that they can't really have massive sets or anything, but the very small bits of sets that they did have uh, worked great for the show, and the costumes were stunning. So, so good. I think the costumes, again, also made the show because it just looked very believable. It just looked like we were really in kind of a different world, and yeah, I love the costumes. It was beautiful. Also, the way it was set was that it's kind of like around in a way. Basically the set's um, in the middle and there's like rows of audiences on each side. Which meant that the actors were free to do a lot of cool things in a way. It's quite an interactive show. Not like Rock of Ages interactive, but there were bits where some of the actors kind of interacted a bit with some of the audience members and there were bits where some of the actors were like behind the audience and singing and me and my friend were in the back row of one of the sides and in a couple of the scenes nobody was in front of us on stage everybody was behind us and it was quite weird having to like look back and or just hear them from behind us and it was pretty cool as well I think that kind of made the show in a way but yeah um I, I enjoyed the show I wasn't sure what to think of it at first um it did take me a while to get into it um I think it kind of started off a bit slow and there were definitely some slow moments moments in the show and I don't know if that's because I just didn't understand bits of it or if it was just generally quite dull. But I think one of the main problems with this is that it's quite long, it's quite a long show and there were a lot of dialogue in it which I just didn't really, you know, think was necessary. So I think if it was slightly shorter it would have been better and maybe if they could explain things a bit better. I mean, I know it's not really their fault, it's just how it is, it's the show, but I think for first time it was like me, it would have been nice to kind of not feel as confused as I did, but obviously for people who already know Candide, it must have been a great experience and it was a great production anyway. So yeah, um, like I said, I enjoyed it. I don't know if I'd recommend it or not, I think it depends on you. If you want to see some outstanding performances and just be amazed by some great vocals and great acting and great costumes, um, then give it a go, you might enjoy it. But if you want something simple and easy to understand and like more traditional, I suppose, more like West End type, then don't go and see it. I mean it's sold out for the rest of its run anyway so I don't think you can go and see it unless you get a return ticket. But yeah you might get lucky and uh, get a return, I don't know. I also have to mention that it was actually quite funny at times as well. I don't want you to think that it was a very serious musical just because it was like an opera type of show. There were some really funny moments and I really enjoyed that because they were very unexpected. I de genuinely didn't expect them uh, when I went to see the show. So yeah, I loved it. I did genuinely love it overall. And yeah, this is at the Mini Chocolate Factory Theatre until the beginning of March, I think. I think it's been extended by a week because it's been so popular. And like I said, as far as I know, it is sold out for the rest of its run, but you can still try. Go on the website and see if you might be able to find last minute tickets or something. And yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to say about this. I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope you've enjoyed Candide if you've seen it, or if you didn't, let me know in the comments why. And yeah, thanks for watching as always, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!